everybody and welcome to Chillin' and Growin'. Hello! I know, I got the same shirt on from the vlog. Yeah, me, weird, <laughs> me too. Did we film twice? We just did it. Oh. So guess what, guys? Now we're excited about doing we're our second video. Food. Our second video of Chillin' and Growin'. Our second video of Chillin' and Growin' on the on, Chillin' and Growin' channel. On the channel. Chillin' and Growin' channel. Because technically, <clears throat> it's been like two years for me since I did my first yeah, video. Yeah, we did a lot of cooking. Almost exactly two years ago. Is when I joined wow. the, the crew. Woo party time! <clears throat> Excellent. That was corny as hell, right? That was, that was cringe worthy. I was I was his dad. I came up close doing it. Oh, he did it! He's, you're, you're just trying to go through whatever's popular, huh? <laughs> That's right. So, anyway, <laughs> we get up to 3,000 subs. Anyway, next week. We are going to make a steak salad. I can't wait. I love salad. I love steak. With some sauteed vegetables, no, you know, very little carbs in it. Because it's is, all so green we're do and a healthy meat. One. Not to say that we're always going to do healthy. No, why would we? Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> That's fucked <laughs> up. <dude. laughs> so, I didn't say nothing that time. So we're, we're going to get started. So we we'll see in the kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go over the ingredients now. Here we go, guys. Here we, we have, go. I'm going to have to hold it up. That's how I have the roll now. Yeah. Right? Because we don't have nobody to tell New us. New York about. strip steak. It's my favorite. This is my favorite kind of, of steak. Um, is it? Because it has the fat in the yeah. outside, so you get all the flavor. Is it? That's but it's not all. Okay. It is. It does look really. Good. You guys see that? Yeah. New York strip. We have peppers. We have red, <laughs> green, it's and yellow. It's in the cameras. <laughs> red, green, yellow. Red, green, yellow. Green, yellow, red. I'm, I'm doing that looking at it. Okay. And an onion. And an onion. <laughs> Just the onion. And yeah, we're, onion looks we're like. gonna use Montreal steak seasoning. If you guys haven't tried that, you guys should uh, for our steak. It is good on steak. We're gonna use a little salt and pepper. Got to use that. And we're gonna use some romaine lettuce. You can pick it up now. Oh yeah, some romaine lettuce. Yeah. And we're gonna use some extra sharp cheddar cheese. And it's hell of a good. That is hell of a good. Yeah. Yeah, they have really hell of good dips too. Yeah. Dips um, and good. probably a little olive oil too, which I didn't put out here. We'll but put it on there. Um, and maybe a little butter. Maybe. And maybe, I think it's definitely butter, right? Maybe, <laughs> could have beer spillage. We don't know. A little bit. You never know what's going to happen. Beer is always good. Yeah. So anyway, I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cook our steaks. I, I chop and them. One of the things you guys got to remember is Can also, I chop the vegetables up first? And we're gonna, you can chop them, yeah. Um, one of the things you got to remember with steak, right? We're going to let make sure that you let them sit out for about a half hour to an hour. To yeah, rest. you have room temp. Yeah, you want them to rest because they had a hard day. They've been chilling all day in the refrigerator. Yeah, they have, so. they, and now they're getting ready to grow. Yeah, so they got to rest a little bit. We're back! And here's the first step. We're going to season some steak. And you're going to heavily season the steak because it's not only seasoning the steak, it's also going to season the salad, right? So you want to go heavy, way heavier than you would typically if you're cooking steaks. But I need to pause for it. That's a fine looking piece of meat you got. <laughs> Why? It is my aim for it. Just tell me. Weirdo. <laughs> it is. It's the second piece of meat. Mm. You see that? It's sexy. <laughs> I don't know why I said it twice. I don't know why you did either. That was coming out. Shake hey. it. <laughs> Yo, that's, you can rub it in after. Sometimes you gotta rub your. Stop that's a lot of. That's a lot of seasoning. <laughs> well, you told me to shake it. I hadn't been told that since I was in high school. <laughs> All right, so. I feel like I'm not doing it enough. Okay, okay, here, look. I'm going to rub it in. All right, there we go. Move your hands. We're going to rub right, that too in. Fast, too now, fast. Now too I'm fast. Gonna, I'm going to turn it over. Turn it over, and then we're going to reseason this side. We're going to reseason it. Gonna... Did you use it all? There you go. There's plenty in there. <laughs> Have you on that side as well? And then you're good. And then, he, he used it all, but that's okay because I have another container. And then we're going to put these on the grill, get, <laughs> get them cooking. And, we're uh, going outside? I, I'm going to watch. No. It's like 40 degrees outside. We're going to pretend we grilled them outside, but we're going to actually put them on the. Oh, yeah, thank God, because it's cold. On the stove. All right, so we got to add some butter in the pan. The pan is, is hot. Hear that? Yeah, that sounds hot. That's hot. So we're going to get that butter all over there. Right? Oh man, I love butter. <laughs> I never go through the steaks. The steaks. Oh, that's... You hear that? Look at that. That's flavor town, baby. And then you put this one on there. And we're going to do about three minutes on each side. Three minutes? Very on high heat. 
Three missing shots. What's going on yeah. behind me, Larry? Okay, well, we chopped up the vegetables, kind of chunk style. Chunked it up. Chunked it up, and of course we shredded the cheese. Now, what else did you do, Joe? We, we turned on the oven. We turned the, well, I turned the oven on 250 and put a uh, cookie sheet in there. So what we're gonna do is heat the steak up, right? Three minutes on each side is what we're going for, maybe four, depending on how it is. We want a good caramelization on either side. That's giving a lot of this flavor. We don't want to overcook it. Put it in the oven and let it sit in there while we uh, salt the uh, vegetables. And we will show you when... Maybe. Oh, look, there we are. We will show you guys yeah. when the steak is done and then we go to put it in the oven and we'll show you the next step. See how different it is? So, Joe. Yes, Larry. What happened now? I put the steaks, baby. Look at the, look at the caramelization on there, guys. That is the flavor. And how, long, it? how long did you go? A lot longer than I did on my honeymoon. It was four minutes. <laughs> four minutes exact? On one side. And then we'll flip it over, do another four minutes, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. Guys, typically I cook my steaks five minutes one side, three minutes the other, eight minutes overall, preheated oven. It gives you a medium medium rare. For a salad, you probably want a little bit better cooked. A medium is what we're looking for. So we're gonna cook it eight minutes on stove top, put it in the oven while we do everything else. You'll see. All right, so okay. I think, yeah, that's First your... of all, I wanted to let you guys know, we're using a non-stick pan, and Joe's got, now you would think, okay, he's got metal tongs, you can't do that, but these have rubber on the oh, end. Yeah, right. So it's important to have rubber on all yeah, the time. Yeah, always, especially if, if you come out of the point or something. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want to scratch up your pan. No, it's non-stick. All right, so this is ready to be transferred into here. Okay. Now, do you have a, um, no, yeah. I wish that this came out. It does come out. Yeah, so I like, man, this thing, this thing looks ridiculously good. All right, so there we go. All right, so they're in the oven. At 250. We're just keeping them warm, guys. Just keep That's them warm. And then we're going to get the uh, vegetables going now. Now, we want a little olive oil to put in the pan to deglaze the pan. We're going to deglaze the pan. It's going to burn. Let's go. Yeah, Stop vegetables. talking about it and do it. Come on, okay. get, the, get the vegetable oil, Larry. Okay, we don't want extra virgin. We want, we want, we want extra virgin? No, no that no. one. I don't know, what's that? It's yeah. burning! Oh, come on, man. Butter. All right, that's good. All right, yeah, so vegetables. Now, we get that going, guys. My wife's oh. yelling at me, or somebody's yelling at me. <laughs> We're here do it. Now. Get all them veggies going in there, guys. Yeah, they're getting cooked in there. That's good. the good stuff. Now, listen. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of pepper. Salt and his best friend pepper. Now we didn't have to do that with the uh, with the steaks because the Montreal steak seasoning. Has, seasoning has all that stuff in there. Yep, it has coarse salt and pepper. There we go. And we're going to saute them down until they get nice. That is on a medium, medium high heat, same as the steaks, a little bit lower. Uh, I just want to cool a pan down a bit before we put them back in here, but we back back up to a medium uh, high heat. And we want to see a little char on that. That's right. All right, we want to clear something up. I don't want to clear anything up. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally said charred on the camera, which is going to stay in there because we can't cut that word out. But what we meant is we want to caramelize. We're going to bleep it. You're going to get something way worse. <laughs> what? I think you bleeped the word charred. Yeah. Then I think you said something else. But anyway, we want to caramelize. Nice caramelize. Yeah, it's like you want to see. Nice caramelization on either yeah. side. Uh, gives it, that nice sweet flavor compared to the bitterness of a char. And if you can see them now, they're they're getting there. Oh, they're definitely getting there. It's cooking down nicely. So I want this end to get nice and... Yeah. Also... You're not going to say the word? What? Nice and... and caramelized. There you go. But you can put mushrooms in there, because I actually thought of getting some mushrooms. I'm glad they did. That's why I didn't. But uh, I, I did green, red, and yellow because I wanted to add a little color to it. It is. It's spice light. It smells so good. Okay, we put one steak on the cotton board. He's going to try and pour the juices in there after well, I get this other steak off. Yeah, Because yeah, he yeah. probably would drop the steak in there too. I wouldn't drop the steak. Look at that. Now we put that juice back into the... <laughs> this guy just dropped the steak. You see it? You're so lucky. It landed on the thing. That's so great. I thought it was a great job. <laughs> I'm so great that you did that. See, that's the goodness though, that juice right. there. Go cut that up. Hey, nice, yeah. nice try, dude. I'm <laughs> glad that that happened. If it wasn't for that table, that thing would have gone. He completely All right, So now we're going to cut this up. All right. 
I like to cut mine on a slight angle. And that is looking perfect. Yeah, a little medium, medium, medium well-ish. No, no, the vessels took a little bit longer than what we thought they would take. Okay, so I'm going to continue to cut, cut these all... both up, and then we'll assemble the plates. All right, so now we cut it up. We put some some steak oh, on there. That's good. Right? Maybe with some vegetables. Hold it, wait. Cheese, gotta cheese first, right? Got to hit it up with some cheese. Yeah, you want the cheese in the middle so that melts. I cut that steak. And I don't know about you, but I like cheese. And then he's going to put some veggies over top of that. Oh, yeah. All right, and then we're going to eat some salad. That looks delicious. And then we're going to finish these other plates up. And now for the best part. Yeah, how was that? That was beautiful. Thanks, man. <clears throat> try to get everything in there. You yeah, you have to try and get some vegetables, some lettuce. I guess lettuce is technically a vegetable. Mmm. This is delicious, guys. I'm telling you. Yeah, it really is. I know we say this all the time. I really mean it this time. It doesn't take that long to cook it. And this is very not bad for you. I don't know. Red meat is whatever people say. Hippies. I think red meat's fine. Jersey. I like hippies, though. I'm friends with hippies. Yeah. Anyway, guys, try this. I have a beer. I think you guys don't like it. You could put chicken. This is goatee. You could put chicken on there instead of steak. And it shrimp. Matter. Oh. Mm. But anyway, guys, try this out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up and relax. We'll meet you at the lounge. Ah, damn it, I was late. I nailed the first one. Stay here.